Okay, so the next knot we're going to learn how to tie here is actually kind of, we're going to start with a family of knots, and those are the figure eight family, right? And, uh, it's a very useful family of knots to know. They're very strong and uh, have a lot of common uses. So we're going to start out with tying what's called the rerouted figure of eight or figure eight retrace. Uh, it's commonly used to uh, tie into a climbing rope. That's where it's most often used. So to start out with, we're going to take our running end, and then I'm going to create what is called an inline eight, or inline figure eight. So to do that, I make running end, I take a overhand loop, and then I bring it around under the standing end, and back through that overhand loop. And as you can see, I created a overhand on a single strand. So that's that inline eight. Just gonna give myself a little more slack there. Boom. All right, so to start this knot out, I'm gonna take the running end, I'm gonna pass it around whatever I'm tying it into. And then looking at this eight, I have kind of like an inside track or an outside track. So I'm gonna try to take the outside track. I'm gonna take this tail around my object, starting in next to itself. And I'm just going to retrace the knot all the way around. I'm trying to keep to that path of least resistance as I go around. And eventually ending up top. And now the last thing I want to do before I dress this knot, or how I dress this knot down, has a lot to do with how effective it is. So I want to pull and line up all the strands and pull the strands individually first. And then start working together and pulling them uh, as pieces, but if you pull the strands individually with this knot, it tends to dress down better and cleaner. So the ideal thing you're gonna see here are two ropes running side by side in the shape of a figure eight. I formed a fixed loop, because it does cross itself here and there, uh, around my object or a harness, all right? So if you're using this for climbing, all right? The running in exits at the same end as the standing end. Very simple. So we'll take it apart again here and we'll do it one more time. Starting from zero. So I'm going to measure off some rope. I'm going to create that inline eight to start this out with here. I'm going to take it around my anchor. Now, again, looking for that path of least resistance. So on this side, it's going to be here. I'm going to stay kind of on the outside at this point, bring it around, and I'm going to stay on the outside of this bend as well, right, trying to take those wider arcs, and then bring it through the top. And now to dress it down, I'm going to pull each strand individually, and you can kind of see where these twists and crossovers are forming, and I'll just take those out as I go, and dress down, and definitely more pigtail this time. So if you are using this to tie into a climbing rope, definitely try to go for that four to six pigtail. If it gets too long, um, the pigtail will get in the way while climbing. And also keep this loop about fist size. If it gets bigger than that, especially on a climbing harness, the knot will start hitting you in the chest and it may get in the way when you're uh, being belayed. So that's the rerouted figure eight or figure eight retrace.